I started sailing snipes in 1953. I sailed with a young colleague of mine by the name of John Weber. We went to school together. I was only 13 at the time. Um, Lou and Ted Verley. It was number 9599. My parents bought it for me and I believe they paid $975. The boats that he delivered to people uh, all over the United States, uh, everybody loved them because they were, it was a beautiful boat and they were fast. Lou was very meticulous when, when he made a boat and he made sure that all the grains in the wood were going the right direction. Uh, all the, the, the caps uh, that were put in for the screws were going the right direction. Would I consider uh, Lou's boats uh, as fine cabinetry? Yes, they were. When you got a boat from Lou, it was beautiful. Fred was a member of Newport Harbor Yacht Club and I was sailing Sabbaths uh, and I met him down there and I had won a couple of nationals with the Sabbaths and he kind of thought that I was a, a pretty good sailor so he took me under his wing. He took me to uh, a couple of national championships across country which I never would have been able to do uh, because my parents couldn't uh, get the time and so they allowed me to go with uh, Fred and uh, we've just been best friends uh, ever since. Uh, Fred and I got together and sailed in maybe 10, 15 regattas over the years that uh, we knew each other. When Fred crewed for me in Bermuda, uh, of course his hearing was not the greatest. Uh, he kind of uh, uh, got his eardrums uh, beat up when he was in uh, World War II uh, when he was stationed aboard a battleship. And um, anyway, when we'd uh, go to tack in Bermuda, I'd have to lean over and not, not, nod him a little, and uh, he'd be ready to go. I didn't have a crew. Herb drove the boat back, and uh, when we got there, I, I'm looking around for a crew, and um, old man Diaz comes up to me, whom I'd met in 1950, well, that was that same year, 56, at the um, Western Hemispheres, uh, which we qualified for. Um, in uh, uh, Bermuda and said he heard I was looking for a crew and he pointed over to his son and said how about uh, Augie and I said well I don't know he's kind of small and he's a little pudgy but uh, let me think about it so uh, things got a little tighter I couldn't get a crew so I said okay kid let's go so uh, we went out with this uh, uh, new boat which was the first uh, Chabasco, number 16333, and we ended up uh, sixth overall. And Augie was delighted because he beat his dad. In the early days when I went with my parents, it was a family vacation. And then when I had my family, it was again a family vacation. And uh, uh, I've had my, my ex-wife crew for me. I've had my daughter crew for me. I've had my son crew for me. The crew is 50% of, of the battle. Uh, the more you practice with, with your crew, the better you're going to get. You're going to coordinate with each other. Uh, and uh, it's just hard to, to beat a good practice uh, all the time with the same crew. You're not teaching a new person the, the, the tricks that you're used to doing all the time. One of the most times I had, and I was so young, I, I really didn't understand what was going on. I was just crazy. But I was at the uh, Nationals in uh, Association Island, and a storm came up in between races. And uh, we got our, 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 our main down, but I couldn't get my jib down. And it started blowing and blowing, and it got up to 30, got up to 40, got up to 50. There were puffs when we got in. They set up to 65, and I was with my wife at the time, and we had an old uh, uh, Chabasco single hull, uh, high daggerboard, and I saw an island, lee of an island, so I started heading towards that, and it was straight downwind, and as we were going towards this, the sheets came loose of the fair lead on the jib, so the jib was straight out in front of the boat, I'm bare pulling it and I'm planing and I'm having a ball. 
didn't even think about it's blowing 65. We got around the lee of this island and it took us about uh, a half hour to get the sheets untangled. They were so fouled up. And by the time we got in, we're, the, we're still the third boat in. That was a pretty exciting time.